40 EDR users are handled under the Administration tab. A user can be defined at a tenant level or as a hoster that is able to handle multiple tenants. I'm currently logged in as a hoster user and would like to manage the users of the demo tenant. We can see here that the demo tenant has one user already defined and that's the level 3 SOC expert, John. We'll define a new SOC layer 1 user, Emma. When defining a new user, there are several details that should be provided. I'll start filling them out now. And you'll notice that we also specify the roles of the user that can include, among other permissions, the ability to run REST APIs for controlling the environment automatically. For each user, we can define whether he should use two-factor authentication for security reasons. In addition to local users, you can also define authentication via LDAP for integration with your Active Directory or AD, or you can define SAML single sign-on SSO to authenticate users via your SAML identity provider. We're back at the dashboard now, and we've logged in as Emma. Emma's the new demo tenant level one SOC engineer. Now Emma is a demo tenant user, so she can't see that tenant's dropdown list. She can only manage the events of the organization that she's defined with. At this dashboard view, she sees that there are two new events waiting for her analysis. So Emma drills down to the event viewer. By default, Emma sees only the events that haven't been set as handled, as she views by default the unhandled events filter. Emma starts with the first event. She sees that the process is a legit Microsoft process. Emma does know, though, that attackers can utilize this process for loading a malicious DLL, a technique known as DLL search order hijacking. Though Emma sees the malicious classification, she's not sure and would like someone more experienced to continue with the investigation. Therefore, Emma adds a comment on the event, referring it to John, our SOC Level 3 engineer. John, this event needs to be further investigated and saves the event. Now John's logged into the 40 EDR console and he sees that there are events waiting for him at the dashboard. John moves to the event viewer, and again by default he only sees the events that haven't been set as handled, as the default event filter is unhandled events. John now sees the event with Emma's comments. John reviews the details of the automatic analysis conducted by the Fortinet Cloud Services, FCS, that indicates that following the detection of the in-memory payload there is a malicious DLL, winbio.dll which tries to disguise as a legitimate DLL. Before taking a manual remediation step on the whole tenant device, John would like to further analyze the event. So John then switches to the forensic view. And as demonstrated previously, John can now take several forensic actions before concluding that the event is indeed malicious. So now back at the event viewer, John writes a comment for Emma, at Emma, completed the analysis, and then he saves the event as handled. And now this event no longer appears under the unhandled filter. As we just demonstrated, handling events via SOC team is easy. Note that the flow presented here represents a real zero-day FIN7 attack, which attempts to steal credentials from the device. There is a blog published on this one by our research team titled, Introducing BioLoud, FIN7, Boost Rights Lost Twin.